especially returning these. These, don't buy these. Not, then these t-shirts are hot garbage. Like, don't even buy those. YouTube, what is going on? It is your boy Keezy, it ain't easy being Keezy, and in today's video, we're gonna be trying on all of these t-shirts, all of these white tees that are either from H&M, Zara, and Uniqlo, and we're trying to find out which one is the best white t-shirt for your essential wardrobe rotation. Going through different fabrics, price, and also the fitting, so let's go ahead and talk about it. small disclaimer before watching this video is that in my personal opinion there really is no such thing as a perfect white t-shirt that can last you for decades not really anywhere not not necessarily one brand name that I have gone to um, because if there was I would have found it by now and a big reason behind making this video is that a lot of people are curious as far as what the differences are between these white shirts compared to another brand just putting that out there so anyways let's go ahead and do this just to zoom out here real quick. Okay, so the way we're gonna format this, I'm just gonna go shirt by shirt, try them on, and we're gonna go through some categories like fit, price, uh, comfortability, and also things like fabric. If I leave out any of those details in a particular t-shirt, we could talk about it in the comment section below. Okay. First up, we got these crew neck dry color t-shirts by Uniglo, and I bought a large and I bought an extra large. I've never tried them on as foolproof. I've never even seen this actually. This is kind of like in their pajama section, $7.90, so almost 10 bucks per shirt. Maybe there's two of them in here. I don't know, we're about to find out. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm hoping that these are returnable. Oh, got it. Fabric is not bad. It's kind of soft. Not bad. It does look a little bit see-through, kind of. Go ahead and uh, try this one on first. This is a size large by the way all right for the sake of this video I'm taking my chain off it's a little too thin for me it definitely feels way more of a kind of feels like a, a pajama like I just kind of mentioned if I'm looking in the mirror biggest drawback to this is that you can actually see my wife beater underneath like look how see-through that is like I bet you if I didn't have this wife beater on you could totally, totally see nipples, nipples. And I absolutely hate when t-shirts do that it, like it sucks it looks really stupid I look stupid you, you look, look stupid, stupid looking at my nipples. nipples you already know what it is Let's just try on the extra large for kicks and giggles anyway, but we already know that this t-shirt is just not it. Okay, this one's looking a little more promising as I'm trying it on. As far as size goes, I mean, an extra large honestly fits like a large. I'm a, my true to size is a large. I bet you through the camera, you can see my pants. Can you see my pants? Like, if you can see your pants through the t-shirt, or through the t-shirt, no, this is it's an automatic no. Like I just like nipples and pants. You can see my nipples and you can see my boxers and pants through your t-shirt. Then you, you shouldn't, shouldn't even be wearing, wearing a t-shirt. Doesn't even make sense. I would say for sure these are more of like a pajama. And I, I don't even know for sure if they are for pajamas or not. The only plus that I would say to this t-shirt that I do like is that this collar is actually kind of tight. The neck area actually stays the same size as the size large which I like because if I end up sizing up maybe to a double X, which I don't even think they have double X at uh, Uniglo for this t-shirt. I was looking at the top and there was just only XL. Ring of the neck stays the same size, which is good because if you end up getting two sizes up or a size up, the, the ring of the neck's not gonna get like, you know, two inches bigger, an inch bigger. Kind of sucks sometimes because then you can see your collarbone. I mean, that's great, but that is not enough for me to keep this t-shirt where you can see nips, wife beater, boxers and pants. No go, I'm gonna put this one to the side for now. Okay, so this is the super thin Uniglo t-shirt. You see my hand? Like, you can you can see my hand, right? Okay, so then now we're gonna put the thicker one on here. Hold on. Now, can you see my hand? It's way harder. So like, clearly this one is like way thicker. So just, the thin t-shirts, like, just stay away from these. These suck. Okay, next brand we got up is, we're gonna talk about Zara. I only bought one t-shirt out of this whole stack of t-shirts that is from Zara. And this is actually a shirt that I'm very familiar with. So let's go ahead and try it on first. Still got the tag on. I'm already, I'm keeping this shirt. I already know I am because I own, I own a couple of these. And reason why I absolutely love these shirts is because they're not see-through. Very different than what we just tried on. Through this one, you can't see through it. And if you can, comment <laughs> and let me know that you, you can, can see, see the nips i mean as far as i know you can't see my wife beater you probably can't see my pants either also i like the fit too it's not like boxy it's not like crazy boxy where it's like too high here this is a size large but it does fit between like large and xl if that if that's not even like really a size but if i were to just like give you a, a gauge of what it kind of fits like and i love that i love that it comes down to here uh, cause it covers, covers up my farmer's hand, hand just to keep it A1. It doesn't rise up too high, it doesn't rise down too low, not trying to be like too trendy. I love it. The fabric is also very soft, 
These do come in at a whopping $20. And also a very quick tip for this t-shirt from Zara is that they make them usually in like three colors. It's black, white, I think like a beige color, and I think that's it. But as far as I know right now, these are kind of like year round because when I first started buying these shirts, ending 2017, beginning 2018, I started buying these shirts from Zara. And these are not like the cheap shirts because they make like three or four different batches of different types of white t-shirts. They have ones that are super see-through, they suck. They have like elongated ones, I pass on those. They have ones with zippers. I also pass on those, but this is just like your regular mundane white t-shirt, but it's like a little bit of a thicker fabric. Soft fitting is actually very nice too. For some people, you might even need to size down, but for me, I just go true to size. I go with a large, it works for me. And also best thing about it is if you wash it and dry it, it doesn't wrinkle as much, especially for being, you know, it being a cheaper t-shirt, $20 t-shirt. It is what it is. I love it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next shirt. Okay, next shirt we got up is a, uh, another Uniglo shirt. I literally bought these without without even looking at them and I didn't know it came with a pocket. I tried my best not to buy t-shirts for this video with pockets, but it, you know, we're already here at this point. We already have both of the t-shirts in a size large and also an XL. Let me try on the, uh, the size large first. Size large, it does look a little oversized already, kind of even bigger than the shirt that I have on. And also it looks a little bit more boxy, but let's go ahead and try it on and see how this goes. And wow, this is very, this is like pretty oversized. Hold on. It's all, it's oversized and very boxy actually. Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm not bad. I'm kind of impressed to be honest. It's not a bad shirt. This is a little longer than what we just tried on, but it's actually not really like technically boxy because it has this little, I don't know what you call this. It has like a break here and then it comes down lower uh, in the back, but which is, which is kind of cool. Uh, if you're looking for a boxy t-shirt and if you're at Uniglo, I would try these out. In addition to that, I would say the fabric is pretty nice. The fabric is a little thinner than the Zara t-shirt that I just tried on. I don't know how these will hold up in the wash. Way better than the like pajama type t-shirt. And I don't know if you can see, can you see my wife beater through it? If I do this and you can see the wife beater, then it's bad. If I do that, obviously because you know you see the crease there but if you can see right through it i'm assuming you can't because the, the fabric is like a little bit mm, thicker i guess right not bad i would say the only thing pushing me away from buying this is this whole little trendy thing I, i've kind of stayed away from buying t-shirts that do this like little breakage here because i'm really just not into it anymore it just kind of reminds me of going to zara and then paying for those zara tees that have like zippers and weird cuts and kind of like dated back like four or five years kind of try to stay away from those and just try to get like regular t-shirts also if you like a little cigarette holder pocket thing that's also a cool thing too i also stay away from t-shirts that have these pockets i don't know why i don't i don't use the pocket much i don't smoke cigarettes i don't have anything light enough to put in my pocket if that makes sense okay we can go ahead and try on the extra large anyway even though the large fits we can go ahead and try on the extra large just to show you the size difference being that this is an extra large i'm already we already know this is going to be huge. But yeah, anyways, this is, yeah, it's just, it's a little too boxy for me. The, the large fit, extra large, probably pass on it. Let's go ahead and move on to the next shirt. Okay, next t-shirt up is from H&M. Not much to say about it other than the fact that I just, I literally walked right in. I was like, where's the white t-shirts? Found it, purchased it, and I just kind of held it up against my body. The large looked too small. I only grabbed an extra large, so I don't have large and extra large to compare today. So let's go ahead and try this on and then see the difference. So as we know, when it comes to like the tiers of fast fashion, you talk about H&M, talk about Zara, Uniglo, whatever other fast fashion houses there are out there. Those are like the top three. In tiers, it's like Uniglo's at the top, Zara's in the middle, and sometimes they battle between top and middle. And then H&M is pretty much the bottom of the barrel when it comes to that, uh, depending on the item, of course. Quality wise, I would say this is way thinner. This fits and feels exactly like Uniglo pajama t-shirt that is super thin, which it literally feels like it's from the same exact factory. My guess is that if I end up washing this and drying it, it's, it's like toast. Like literally it is probably a t-shirt that you can only wear once. And then once you dry it, it comes out of the dryer, it's like all crinkled. And then on top of all of that, H&M's t-shirt is see-through. You can totally see through it. If I didn't have my wife beater on, you, you would, would see nipples. nipples. And I'm telling you right now, nobody on my channel would want to see the nips. But if you really are, I guess, brand conscious or brand loyal to H&M, and if you really want to get these shirts, I would say size up. This extra large definitely feels like a large to me doesn't really feel like an XL. This feels like more of like a pajama t-shirt, not even for sports, more pajamas, a shirt that you just don't care about. Uh, next shirt. 
Okay, so the next and final shirt that we have up here is again from Uniglo. We're going back to Uniglo really quick. I've really wanted to talk about these because these have kind of been in conversation with a couple other channels and then also some of my friends have been wearing these as well and they've been recommending this t-shirt to me. These are a little bit thicker than the previous Uniglo t-shirts that we're talking about here today, but they're a different fabric. They are called crew neck short sleeve t-shirt. I, I mean, I hate when they... Can you give it a different name? Let's, let's just try it on. Entertain myself a little bit here. I'm gonna try the XL on before I try the large on, even though I've, I've never tried XL on before. Uh, so the XL is actually not that bad, sizing wise. Can't see through it, right? Well, I can't anyway. It's a little too thick for you to see through. This is definitely gonna be a lot warmer of a t-shirt compared to the others. I would definitely not name this as a pajama t-shirt. Uh, a lot thicker than actually a majority of the t-shirts that we tried on here today. But the only difference between this and the other Zara t-shirt and Uniglo like trendy fitting shirt, which I will maybe give the name here, is that the fabric on this is a little bit rougher on the skin. It's definitely not like a soft fabric. This kind of feels like, like recycled fabric. If like against your skin, it does anyway. And then also it doesn't like when you do this, I know this is like a str really strange example, but when the fabric kind of rubs against your pants and also either a white beater underneath, and stuff, it just, it feels like the fabric is gripping onto whatever other fabric it's touching. I still prefer the Zara t-shirt over this one as far as fabric goes and also fit, even though this is an extra large, not really too bad of a fit, I would say, but let's go ahead and try on the large. This is the XL. Let's see what the large fits like. Oh, this is a lot smaller. Okay, the large, large works. I think, I think large is, what do you guys think? It's hard to, maybe harder to tell on camera, but I guess if you want the oversized fit, then go for the XL or go for the size up. These fit pretty true to size. Like this is a very true to size large, I would say. It definitely has a different feel since it does feel a little bit smaller than the extra large. And same specs as this. This is just a large compared to an XL. It kind of works out. It's not bad. Whether or not I'll keep this one, hard to say. I have to, I have to sleep on this one. I don't know. It's not, it's definitely not perfect. The fit is nice. The collar is nice. You definitely get a thicker collar on these uh, on these Uniglo ones, and you kind of get like this human-made looking collar. The collar is a little bit tighter than the Zara one that I like so much out of this bunch, but as far as like fabric goes, I don't really like this fabric that much. I do like the Zara one a little bit better because it's a lot softer uh, than this one in particular. my shirt here real quick yeah just had to kind of summarize this whole thing and I've been wanting to make a video like this for a long time and making a video like this just before we talk about the rest of this here is very difficult because there's too many variations when it comes to white t-shirt and also there is a lack of affordable essential t-shirts that are good majority I would say 90% 99% besides the 1% that I'm going to talk about here today um, I actually like and I will actually keep. I'm, I'm literally only gonna keep one of these t-shirts and it's actually originally the t-shirt that I liked to begin with. The Uniglo ones, fabric really isn't soft enough compared to the Zara t-shirt. And also the Uniglo t-shirt that had the better fabric ended up having like that really weird cut on the side of the t-shirt. I'm not really a big fan of that. Those, those type of t-shirts to me just feel a little bit too trendy. And I'd like my t-shirts to just be regular mundane shirt instead of like some like fad fit, if that's like the right words for it. I think out of the bunch, the best one is the Zara t-shirt. I don't always shop at Zara. I know I've made a couple videos either about Zara. I do talk about Zara. Some of my flannels and stuff are from Zara. But you know, Zara has a good like 3% of their products that I like, okay? The rest of them are a little bit too trendy for me and usually the quality is like a little bit too low. But as far as the Zara t-shirt goes compared to the rest of them, I would say the fit is true to size and also the fabric is soft enough. I know for a fact that these kind of last through the storm of washing them over and over and over and over and them also keeping the same shape and not wrinkling so much because of whatever particular fabric uh, this is. I think in total today I spent like how much did I spend? I probably spent like over a hundred. I spent like 120. Uh, if you're wondering, yes, yes I'm, I'm returning, returning this stuff. I'm especially returning these. These, don't buy these. Don't buy these. You see these crew neck, dry, dry color tee, don't buy these. These are, these are, these are pretty bad. These are, tra these are trash. If you want to show nipples uh, in your t-shirt and you want to show your belt while wearing the t-shirt at the same time, 
then go ahead and buy these. But if not, then these t-shirts are hot garbage. Like, don't even buy those. So with all that was said today, make sure you guys or girls keep it locked right here for all latest information from clothing, music, to culture. It is your boy, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Heads one time with this dope shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody on that bullshit ass bandwagon, man. But you know what I'm saying? Whatever happened to coming to dopest, baby? Whatever coming, whatever, whatever happened to coming dope, man? That's the only thing I wanna know, man.